that a Fleming Island High School student has been killed after being hit by a train this morning. Oh, such an awful mm. tragedy. It happened shortly after 730 this morning at the intersection of Doctors Lake and Woodland Drive. Now we're still waiting for authorities to release the name of the student who was killed in this accident. First Coast News reporter Eric Alvarez has been following this story throughout the day for us. He joins us now live. With Eric. Yeah, I spoke to about a dozen students here outside of the school earlier today off camera. They tell me they are absolutely heartbroken to have lost one of their classmates today, but they also say the school has not told them the name of the student that died. A blaring horn and the roar of the engine. On the same tracks where a Fleming Island High School student died Thursday morning. It's tragic, obviously. I mean, you have a child lose their life. It's going to be real tragic, but it kind of makes you wonder what you can do different to stop it from happening. Aaron Proctor grew up in the neighborhood and has seen a number of crashes at nearby crossings. It's common. We, we see a lot of accidents out here, especially at the end of the road and on these tracks. You get a lot of things. The Clay County Sheriff's Office and Florida Highway Patrol are investigating exactly how the student was hit. According to Amtrak, Train 53 came into contact with a person who was on the tracks around 8 a.m. The train had 329 passengers on board, but no customers or crew were hurt. Amtrak says it is cooperating with Clay County investigators and service resumed at 11.43 a.m. The Clay County School District says our hearts go out to the friends, family, and the community as parents and students wait for the results of the investigation. For neighbors, the roar of the train sounds a little louder. And the yellow tape near the tracks is a haunting reminder of what happened. Now, the school district says it provided students and staff with mental health counseling earlier today and will continue to do so as long as it's needed during this difficult time. Live in Clay County, Eric Alvarez, First Coast News, on your side.